Okay, so we made some more progress. Um, you can see here, again, a little picture of the uh, Swarm uh, Space Eval Kit on the right-hand side there. That's, uh, I've just put it outside in the back. Uh, so it's happily sitting there. It's on a Wi-Fi extender that I've now got set up, and that's quite reliable now. So that's just quite happily sitting there doing its own thing, and I can talk to it. You can see on the bottom right a bunch of ping requests coming in which are showing me that the thing is uh, is up and alive, so that's good. Um, now the next thing is, I want to be able to work with it, as I was saying, through uh, MQTT to uh, to make it a little bit easier for, for me. So uh, I think you're going to quite like this. I've modified the uh, circuit Python, Python scripting to include some Adafruit magic, the mini MQTT package. Uh, there's a certain amount of uh, tootling about with that, but uh, what we can see is that if I issue a mosquito subscription command up to, it's just a standard uh, cloud broker that we use, uh, on um, any any topic related to the Swarm Eval Kit, um, with a bit of luck, and look at that, what we can see is um, messages, now those are coming out of the Swarm tile, on that unit and are being published over uh, the magic of MQTT through the interwebs and then back to me. You can see the topic there is related to the unique MAC address, the unique ID of the, uh, of the device and um, I'm calling it Serial RX because it's coming in over the, the serial port into the ESP32 S2, the feather that we were talking about. Now you see that I'm not worrying too much about um, clever line passing and handling here at the minute. I'm just uh, sending in what I get as I get it. I might tidy that up in future. But what you can see is that um, we've got a, some GN, um, what should we call those commands, which are giving us the uh, GPS location. We've got some RSSI, which uh, looks all right. Sub 100 is apparently, I think, okay. Or 110 ish, say. Um, and that's all quite nice. So that's super. I might need to make the buffers a little bit bigger for the RX from the, uh, from the serial there, from what I'm seeing. Um, but then, what we can then do is, amazingly enough, we've got another command up here, which is the publication command. And if I publish onto um, serial TX, this message is the command that tells us how many messages we've got waiting for transmission to the uh, any satellites that are going overhead. So if I send that, you can see that's been sent on the display there, and I get a response indicating that there's one, uh, one message to go. So, I mean, this is great. So I can now sit in the, uh, the warmth of my own uh, home or office, and I can interact with uh, these eval kits basically anywhere in the world if I want to. Um, and off we go. So uh, very pleased with that. There are some things that we could do. You can see there's a bit of tidying up. Um, what would be kind of neat would be to make it remote configurable as well. And we could do that uh, with a little bit of extra work. So there's more that can be done. But what I'll probably do is I'll put a pull request up to the Swarm Git repo with this code in it. And uh, if you want to grab it, have a play with it, tell me what works and what doesn't, you know, su submit some changes even, that would be lovely. So uh, thank you very much for listening and have a lovely weekend.